In a party system, it could be enough to topple a government. But what happens if MLAs vote down a budget in a consensus system, like the Northwest Territories? Right now in the NWT legislature, members are discussing the capital plan. And without major changes, MLAs are threatening to withhold their support. Natalie Pressman joins me now with more. So Natalie, what could happen if NWTs don't vote for this budget? Well, Megan, in party politics, like you said, if uh, the budget is defeated by the opposition, it's considered a sign that MLEs no longer have confidence in the government, and that can lead to an election. But in consensus government, political watchers say there's no template for what would happen if MLEs vote down the budget. Sean Dean is a former staffer with the territorial government, and he's one of the people I spoke with about the potential outcome. Here's a bit of what he said. It's never really been tested before. I mean, I've sort of seen seen the question put forward a number of times because this is not the first time we've had a dispute over budgets, but there is no real clear answer on what happens. Dean says it's pretty unlikely that MLAs actually do vote the budget down. He says that one possible outcome could be a cabinet shuffle. If members aren't happy with a minister's performance, that they can fire that minister. But in this case, he says it's more likely that members are using a common tactic, which is to negotiate with cabinet for more of their priorities in the budget. Okay, so that's one expert saying it, he thinks it's unlikely that they'll vote this down. What do experts think will happen then, Natalie? Well, they say what probably will happen is that MLAs and cabinet will come to some kind of compromise. Michael Miltenberger was a long serving member in the legislature and he's also a former finance minister. Here's what he said. To me, that's one of the good things about consensus government is that the whole government doesn't have to fall and you're in total crisis, but that 19 members apply themselves in their roles to get stuff done. He says what's happening right now is a kind of political theater and that they're probably in the process of having private conversations about compromising and what concessions can be made to better reflect what the MLAs are asking for and ultimately the concerns of residents of the Northwest Territories. Well, there's a few more days left in this session, so what happens next? Well, if our experts here are to be believed, then probably we'll be seeing a vote on the capital budget before the session ends on Friday. But there's no deadline for passing the capital budget, and Dean says he thinks it's more likely the members delay the vote to the winter session in February than they would be to vote against the budget. The problem with that is that it means the territory would be delaying buying and shipping materials for infrastructure projects. And once they do get shipped, it might be too late to make it on this winter road season. So, you know, that could significantly delay the housing, energy and road projects that the territory is looking to build. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye this week to see whether or not they vote. Thanks so much, Natalie. Thanks for having me.